What was Lionel McLean like? Is he as tough as people say? Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, I'm not scared of many people, but when you see him, because he, he looks the part as well, six foot two, broad, thick, caveman style, troglodyte, fingers thick like that, knuckles fucking like that, fists fucking like that, tall, and he, he said, uh, how you doing, son? I went, oh, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. He said, come here. So I walked over to him. He said, yeah, you got a great physique. I said, Frank, he said, can you get me some gear? I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And um, we did a few jobs for him. And it's funny because when we're walking down the road, he said, all right, boys, all behind me. So we all have to walk behind him. He's in front and he's walking like this, you know? And um, I found him okay, but I didn't want to be around him too much because he's very dangerous. Because he's, I mean, I hate to speak badly of the dead because he's dead. Sorry about that. Oh, he could be dead. Yeah, probably, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, who knows? But, you know, when he, when he goes, he goes. You could have a joke with him and then all of a sudden he wouldn't like the joke. And I remember a doorman calling him Pops, Pops. How you doing, Pops? American guy, big American guy. How you doing, Pops? Tapping like this. And I could see McLean didn't like that just for his face. And I think it played on him. Pops, old man, passed it. Mm -hmm. That's what he thought. Yeah. Two hours later, he called him in the room and battered him and smashed him up. Who you called him fucking Pops? You can't have your fucking Pops. So I didn't want too much to do with him. He was more uh, Mickey Fio's friend. And Mickey Fio's a friend of mine. And Mickey said, yeah, come, Peter. We've got a bit of work, f you know, on, on the door. Me, you and Lenny. So, uh, yeah, I worked with him about three or four times. 